I am in the midst of getting ready. I'm just putting on some earrings right now. And as I was finishing my makeup, I thought I would update you on this. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Bright and Fix Eye Brightener. Um, I bought this a while back because I really love a bright under eye and I saw this, I think it was on TikTok, someone was talking about it. And the first few times I used it, um, it did not work out for me. I used it with the Beauty Blender, I also used it with my trusty concealer brush. This is the Morphe M173 if you're looking for a great concealer brush. This is the best brush ever. Anyways, that one did not work for this. Nothing worked for this. And I was really upset because I was like, okay, like, am, am I using it wrong? Is the product not working for me? After playing around with it quite a bit, I found a way that worked for me. And that was to use my NARS concealer in the inner corner to obviously cover up any darkness. So I use this in the shade um, Light Number 3 honey um, and again this is to color correct so I'm actually going to be getting rid of any darkness so I don't use this underneath my entire under eye just in the really dark spots and then what I like to do is I like to go in with this and I will just tap it underneath my eye and it seems to work best using my fingers I don't know why that's just how it's worked out but I actually quite like the finish of it it's very light this isn't I would say a full coverage um, product I wouldn't use this to go out if I'm having like a really full face of makeup but on a day where I'm wearing something really natural really fresh this is absolutely perfect so that's my update on it it's nice it's a little bit finicky but you know what it works I ran out of eggs yesterday making ramen and I really really want some eggs for breakfast because I'm super super hungry I just had a little snack there's these little like biscotti things because I'm, I'm starving but I'm gonna quickly get dressed go and get some eggs come back make breakfast um, and then we can go on a butter day I also did want to go out for a little bit of a walk grab a matcha latte I have been so much into matcha lattes um, don't worry I still love my coffee um, but I don't know, the matchas have just been such a nice change. I think I'm gonna go grab a egg, come back home, make some breakfast, and then do a little bit of work, obviously, but then I think I'm gonna go out and grab a matcha latte with you guys, because it's been, like, my obsession. It is super gloomy today. One of these days, it's supposed to be, like, 13 or 14 degrees, which means my trench coat will be coming out. I, it's funny, I had someone on Instagram ask me if I still liked my trench coat, because they hadn't seen me wear it in a while and it was like I love it but it's like middle of winter cannot wear a trench coat but anyways I'm gonna finish to get dressed I will choose my outfit with you I have an outfit here I am thinking of wearing I really want to wear these new trousers that I got from Smythe I've worn them a couple times but I kind of really feel like wearing them today they're super comfy super cute with a pair of sneakers and I think I'm gonna pair that with a blazer which I have here one of my Ritzia blazers and um, but I'm just undecided as to what top I want to wear it with so I have this Karen Millen cashmere turtleneck and this skim long sleeve bodysuit those are my two contenders for tops I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet it seems to be a little bit chilly out so maybe I'll go with the turtleneck but we'll see I'll have to try it on and see and sneakers of course Anyways, let me get dressed and then um, I'll show you the two options that I have chosen out here. I feel like I keep coming back to talk to you. I realized I've never showed you one of my newest Skims purchases. And if you don't keep up with Skims, they're about to launch swimwear. And I am like so beyond excited for their swimwear. Like I will be right there on Friday making an order. I'm so excited. I actually really respect what she's done. So I would highly recommend for you to check it out. But essentially the swimmer line that she's launched is so much more than just your classic triangle bikini and your classic string bottoms she has launched long sleeve shirts biker shorts skirts tops one piece accessories cover-ups and i just feel like not everyone feels comfortable wearing a triangle bikini top maybe someone wants a little bit more support maybe someone doesn't want to show off their butt at all maybe you can for religious reasons and anyways i just feel like you know she really went out and um i think created pieces that everyone will be able to wear and enjoy and feel confident in i'm just excited about but what i was going to show you was a little set that i got for valentine's day and i believe this might still be available i'm not sure but this is the crossover triangle bralette and i've mentioned this one before 
It's one of my favorite styles because as much as it's a bralette, you've got your clasp in the back, which means you can adjust it. So you've got your classic three kind of hooks to adjust the tightness. And again, the straps are fully adjustable. But what I fell in love with was this color. I feel so pretty in this color. It's gorgeous. And of course I got the matching underwear. And the one thing that I got really upset about with myself on um, was during my skins video, I didn't fully explain the difference between their thongs because they have two thongs. They have a dipped thong and just a regular thong. Um, and this one right here is the dipped thong. The main difference between those two styles is this style right here, which is the dipped style, has a much thinner um, waistband and it's also gonna sit lower in the front. So a lot less coverage overall. I have both styles and at the beginning, I used to love the original style more because there was a little bit more coverage in the front. It came up a little higher, kind of closer to my belly button and the sides were also a little bit thicker. Um, but now I've actually really enjoyed the dipped style style more. I feel like there's less fabric. just liked it more, but I wish I would have explained that um, in my Skims haul and I didn't. There's so much going on in my head and so many different things that I wanted to say. I also wanted to keep it concise um, and that was something that I feel like could have added value to that video, but I'm telling you now that's the difference. If you want a little bit more coverage, go for the classic thong style and if you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit sexier, go for the dipped style. But again, both are equally as comfortable, in my opinion. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this set because this is what I'm wearing today and it's super, super cute. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Let me actually get dressed now. I've decided to go with the cashmere turtleneck because I wanted to be super, super cozy. I also just put on my Armani Privé Vert Malachite fragrance. This is my absolute favorite fragrance. Okay. It's one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. We'll be repurchasing as soon as I run out and I can already feel like we're we're approaching there um, But anyways, that's the fragrance for today I also still need to put on some lip gloss because you can't start the day without some lip gloss This is the lip gloss. I've been loving. This is a NARS um, gloss And I think I already showed you the color nymph but this is the Triple X Afterglow Lip Shine. Um, so obviously this is just like the clear color. And I love a good clear gloss. I like the color of my lips. So that's the gloss and I think it's um, very, very pretty. So this is the final um, outfit. These are my new Smythe um, trousers. And I cannot speak more highly of Smythe, um, I wear a size 2 in these. Now, my perfect size would technically be a size 0, but I wanted them to be a little bit more comfier, a little bit looser around the waist, so I went with a size 2. Um, I also did not have to hem these. These were the perfect length um, right out of the store, which is just phenomenal. I'm wearing it with my Karen Millen cashmere turtleneck, super, super cozy. I am wearing my little Missouri hoops with the little pearls on the bottom, which, oh, are my absolute favorite. Um, loads of rings, as usual. And, of course, I am still wearing my little curb chain bracelet. I've actually been loving this one so, so much. Um, I'm still gonna, I have to add one of my little diamond solo bracelets back on here. I took them off to film that reel, and I haven't put them back on. And the last thing to talk about in this outfit is my sneakers, girls. Guess who got new Axel Regattos? Mm. This girl right here just purchased a new pair of Axel Regattos. If you've been around for some time, you will know that like basically the only pair of shoes that I wear um, are my white sneakers from Axel Regato. I believe they're the clean 90s style. And I've had them for over a year now, I would say. Um, I wore them through last winter. I wore them through this winter all summer long. I wear them with everything and anything and they are the best shoes I have ever purchased. And after some time, I really wanted a pair of sneakers that looked super, super clean. And so I thought it was time that after putting my sneakers through the ringer, that I would get a new pair. Now don't be fooled, my old pair is still in mint condition, okay? They are perfect. So I will still be wearing them here and there, especially if I know I'm gonna, you know, if it's a rainy day, I'll probably wear my old ones as opposed to my new ones, um, so they don't get ruined or anything. I thought it was about time to get some new avogados, and oh, look how crisp and clean they are. 
I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to quickly put on my coat and go out and grab some eggs so I can make breakfast because I will become a very hangry person very soon if I don't get a full meal in my tummy in the next 45 minutes. Let's go. Let's go get eggs. Okay, coat is on, hat is on. I always feel like one of the burglars from Home Alone when I wear this hat, but um, it's really cozy and really easy to wear. So I'm ready to go. Let's go grab some eggs. I ended up taking my hat off because I couldn't do the mask, the AirPods, and the hat over top. So we went with the hat. <laughs> eggs have been secured. So I'm gonna make my soft boiled eggs and I'm gonna have that with some toast. That'll be my breakfast. So I'm gonna watch a movie while I do that. Um, and then I'm just, as soon as I'm done this tea, which is my, um, is it my lemon ginger? I think it's my lemon ginger from Twinnings. I'm going to make a Bloom Cacao Turmeric Blend Tea Latte, I guess you could say. And I'm actually so forever grateful. You know, I think a lot of viewers tend to put down PR, but PR is such an amazing, amazing, amazing way to discover new things. Um, and that way I can share them with you. And it was funny because this was sent to me in PR with a product from Fresh, and Fresh is a skincare brand. And do not worry, I will be I will be sharing this product with you soon. I just, um, I'm still testing it out. But anyways, um, within that PR box, there's a lot of like spa things, like bath salts. And one of the things that was in there was this Bloom Blue Lavender Blend. So this is a blend that you add um, hot water and your choice of milk to, and you make like a really nice tea latte. And I fell in love with this. So much so that I went to um, Chapters and purchased another flavor. So this is the Cacao Turmeric Blend. Um, both are amazing. The brand is vegan. They've got so many different amazing options, but these two are the ones that I've tried. If you're wanting to try something out, I would highly recommend this um, Blue Lavender Blend. It's perfect before bed because it's caffeine free. It's also vegan. And yeah, it's just really, really awesome. So I'm really happy I discovered these. So while my eggs are cooking, um, I'm gonna make a cacao turmeric um, tea. And I'll show you how I do it. It's super, super, super simple. It's literally the easiest thing you could do. To make the latte, I am going to obviously grab my mug and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of this in my mug. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of sweetener so you can use simple syrup, you can use sugar, you can use maple syrup. I'm going to use maple syrup. Um, you're actually on the maple syrup right now. But I will probably add that in at the end. So while the water is boiling and I've got my mixture in here, I'm going to grab my milk of choice. This is my tea milk. So this is the milk I like to use for teas. And this is the Earth's Own Oat Gluten-Free um, Unsweetened Vanilla. If you are buying the lavender mix, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, buying a nut milk that is vanilla flavored. It's gonna taste like a London fog and it's the best thing in the world. So I've been using this vanilla flavored. It was a total accident. I didn't mean to buy the vanilla flavor. I just did and I didn't realize it. And um, once I realized, I was like, oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna use for today. So I'm gonna put that in my Nespresso frother and just froth it on the hot setting. Okay, water has boiled. And if you read the recipe on the packaging, which that's an awesome thing, all of the Bloom packages have like a standard recipe. And I recommend you to actually start with that. That's what I did. The first time I made um, a tea, I followed the recipe and then I kind of adjusted it to what I would like. So what I do now is I actually like to fill up my mug halfway with the hot water. I think the recipe calls for like just a splash of water to dilute your mix, but I like to fill it up about halfway or so. And right now is when I would actually add my sweetener, um, but you are on my maple syrup, so I will add that in at the end. But once you've done that, um, I then just go in with my frothed milk and add that in and it's super, super yummy. I've taken back my maple syrup and I'm just gonna add um, I would say a couple spoonfuls of it honestly you can make it as sweet or as unsweet as you would like it to be oh that's a lot okay. 
It'll be extra sweet today, I guess. Oh, and the turmeric gives it such a beautiful color. So lovely. Just be careful that it could stain your counters. I've had that happen to me before. All right. And that is the finished product. It's super, super yummy. It's also a little bit spicy, so it's such a nice drink to have on a cold day. I love it. I've been drinking it quite a lot. It's not caffeine-free, but I mean, I drank it before bed and I was perfectly fine. But yeah, I would highly, highly recommend. But anyways, if you're looking to try out a new beverage, I would highly recommend Bloom. I think their stuff is really, really awesome, and it was such a, such an accidental discovery. It just makes me think of like serendipity, but um, yeah, it was such a great discovery and I love their products. I will definitely be trying more of their flavors. Um, but yeah, anyways, it sounds like my water's boiling, so I'm gonna go put my eggs in there and um, put my toast in the toaster. to go out and get some things for dinner. I'm gonna make a recipe from Gaz Oakley. He's a vegan chef from the UK and I absolutely love his food. I'm gonna go and pick up the items that I need because I think I have most of them, but not all, so yeah. I am also going to make a toast with butter because I've been craving that and a little bit of a coffee because I'm just, I don't, I'm craving something like that, so I'm gonna make that um, before I head out. I also switched pants because I thought that I was not going to leave the apartment for the rest of the day and I was kind of like done work and then I realized that I'm going to go out and get groceries. So I will change back into my trousers but for now I'm in my comfy, I think they're called deep Pisces pants from Aritzia. ready to go um, the action plan is to go to the grocery store get everything I need for dinner and then once I get back I'm gonna quickly get changed go to the gym it's gonna be a super quick workout and then once I get back up I'm gonna put on a movie and then make dinner for myself that's the plan tonight I'm excited to get out and um, get some fresh air because I haven't left my apartment all day so it'll be nice to um, get some fresh air for a little while so anyways let's go I've got my list ready to go and um, yeah is LCBO because the recipe calls for some white wine and I mean how tragic that the rest of the white wine will have to be drank. So I'm gonna pick up a Chardonnay probably I think I'll go with a cheaper one just because I'm gonna use half of it for cooking anyways but um, yeah that's the plan. LCBO and um, I got this Cannonball Chardonnay. So this is a Chardonnay from California and actually Cannonball is a great affordable wine. They're, I believe it's their, I don't know if it's their Cab Sav, it's not their Merlot. It might be their Merlot, but the red wine from Cannonball is really, really good. Um, and so I figured, you know what, let's try the Chardonnay. I could try it um, whilst I cook. Um, oh my God, as I just said, whilst. You guys are so funny. It's a couple ladies saying that 
saying the word whilst um, was arrogant. Um, whilst is interchangeable with while. They mean the same, but doesn't happen to get used very often. Little lesson for you guys there. It's not a, it's not a really, it's not a big word. It's just the same as while. Um, doesn't mean anything else. It's really no different. So anyways, you guys just made me laugh while I was reading those. I was like, oh, who knew a word could make you arrogant. Anyways, Cannonball Chardonnay is what I got. I also picked up two beers. Now I'm not a huge beer drinker, but this one type of beer is absolutely amazing. And it was always, always sold out because, well, it's so good. Um, but this is the Belgian Moon Mango Wheat beer and I don't love the taste of beer but Belgian Moon is a beer that I've really been able to enjoy especially the mango one it actually tastes like mango it's so yummy I love it so I picked up two of those just to have here for whenever I feel like having a beer because they're always sold out um, and recently they've had them in stock so every time I go in I kind of like pick up a couple just to make sure that I have some here um, but yeah Belgian Moon mango wheat highly recommend it it's gonna be even better in the summer. I just like, I just know it. And then now I'm just gonna unpack um, everything that I got for the actual pasta. It's a lot of vegetables. Obviously it's a vegan dish, which is um, amazing. So I'm just gonna unload all of these veggies, put them in the fridge, and then I'm gonna get changed and head to the gym. I'm just gonna go for a quick run, lift some weights. When I went skiing to Tremblant, it had been a very long time since I had skied. And obviously, I think the last time I had gone skiing, like I was a competitive figure skater, I was in very great shape. And I felt so weak and so out of shape skiing that I made it um, my goal to become a little bit stronger. So I've been trying to be at the gym. I'm not trying to lose weight or get fit necessarily. I just wanna feel stronger in my own body. That's literally my goal right now. So I'm lifting some weights. I've always kind of neglected my arms. I love working legs, but I hate um, working arms. And so I kind of made it a little bit of a goal of mine to get in there, work some arms, just so I can feel stronger in my own body. Obviously, like my arms are very thin. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of been my goal recently, but I've been enjoying going for a quick run. Runs make you feel so good. And then just working legs or arms, and I'm in there for no longer than 45 minutes. If I'm really enjoying myself, I'll be in there for an hour, but I keep it to 30 minutes to 45 minutes, nothing crazy, but just something that gets me feeling strong and well, good as well. But anyways, I'm gonna quickly unload this stuff so I can get down there. I'm gonna go change, I'm gonna put some leggings and a sports bra on and then I am good to go to the gym. Um, I don't love, I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't love wearing shirts to the gym. I feel like they constrict my moving capabilities. <laughs> so I, quite a long time ago, switched to only wearing um, like high-waisted leggings and um, sports bras. I'll often go to the gym wearing like a sweater because I get cold very easily, but as soon as I warm up, take the sweater off and I am good to go. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna change. I'll show you what I'm wearing to the gym tonight and then um, we will go work out. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is my gym outfit, super simple. Um, I've just got a sweater to go into the gym. I'm wearing the energy bra from Lululemon. Um, of course, my Align leggings and my APL running shoes. I've also just got this Lululemon water bottle. It's like my favorite water bottle. It's so great. It keeps water super cold as well. But yeah, super simple. That way I can get what I need to do um, done and come back up and cook. So yeah. Well, I've just gotten back from the gym and it felt so good. I was only in there for literally 40 minutes. Um, so that's perfect, but I just got back, I've washed my hands and I'm gonna start cooking. So I'm gonna grab all the ingredients and I'm gonna put on a movie, probably a Disney movie or something. I haven't also, oh, now that we're talking about Disney movies, last weekend my mom watched, and I didn't watch it with her because I was watching another show. She watched Turning Red and it's a Pixar movie, but it is a movie that is based in Toronto. Hold on, let me pause my music. 
And it is a movie that is based in Toronto and now I feel like, you know, for most people this is not a big deal. But as someone who is Canadian and who, you know, lives in Toronto, my experience of my city is always like, oh, what movie's based in Chicago? Oh look, it's Toronto! Or oh look, it's Queen Street, Spadina! So many movies are like filmed in like New York, Chicago, and it's in reality always filmed in Toronto. Um, I've never seen a movie that's like explicitly filmed in Toronto. A movie that actually showcases all the Toronto landmarks. And anyways, Turning Red is a female produced um, and directed movie. I have yet to see it, but I've heard loads of good things, so I will definitely be watching it this weekend and I'm very excited about it. Now that I've gotten my Turning Red spiel out of the way, I'm gonna put on a Disney movie um, or maybe just something on Netflix and um, get cooking. So I've got my recipe here ready to go and um, I have cooked this once already, so it shouldn't be like too confusing or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, but anyways, I'm very excited. <laughs> and it smells delicious. I have yet to have to try it, but I'm very, very hungry and it just looks so hearty. There's so many vegetables in here. I will leave the recipe book that I used down below for you guys so you can shop it. But yeah, I'm gonna sit and eat. I have a glass of wine with me and I'm watching Soul Surfer. I love the movie Soul Surfer. If you've never seen it, I would highly recommend it. It's such a feel-good movie and I remember watching it as a kid and just loving it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna sit and eat because I am absolutely starving and yes, I know my um, necklaces are absolutely tangled. Story of my life. I'm gonna eat because I am super hungry. I got a matcha latte from AOK. -okay. So something that we've been doing a lot is just going on very spontaneous walks. We're not sure where we're going, but I did want to stop at this walnut um, cake shop on the west end of Lourdes. Haven't been there in forever, but um, if you're looking for a Korean snack, it's an awesome place to go. But yeah, we're just walking because it's so beautiful and I'm wearing a trench coat because it's like 10 degrees out today.
These are so good. Walnut cakes at the little place. There, it's a really tiny spot, not a lot of room, but they've got awesome walnut cakes. So we're just about to have a couple before we keep on walking. Oh, so pretty! <laughs> oh no. stopped at a little bar called Cafe Diplomatico, I think. Um, and it's, I think, a Spanish bar, so we stopped and we're just gonna have a drink and then keep walking, but I know in um, Barcelona we used to have the beer Estrella Dame, and so they have it here. It's We had the lovely stay yesterday and unfortunately I didn't film anymore because my camera died as we were out and about but um, that's okay we had a lovely day we came back home we actually after the last clip that you saw um, right after that we ended up going to TNT which is like an Asian food market I love it there's so many fantastic things there and it's a little bit further away and we don't go there all the time so when we do go we like to get a bunch of different things dumplings and bao and um, the good ramen because good ramen is so hard to find but I can always find it at the TNT and then we pretty much just made ramen for dinner and we had some bao buns to go with it and some kimchi as well it was super super yummy and then we ended up the night watching Lupin um, and it is so so good if you've never watched it and you're looking for a really really good show I would highly highly recommend it it's been an awesome show that was kind of our day yesterday it was super fun and it felt like it was about time I started showing you what I've been doing recently and I feel like I've always been a person to be so like I mean I used to in the past you know I liked my timelines I liked my like everything needed to be so planned out and obviously throughout the pandemic that started changing a little bit and I've been really just trying to enjoy life and just take it as it comes and you know enjoy every day without being so like methodical about everything and so one of the things I've been loving doing is going out for a walk and obviously doing the things I usually do but um, not being so stuck on a plan and if something looks good then just go for it and and being adventurous in that sense so anyways that's what I've been doing recently and that was a little glimpse into what I've been doing a lot um, recently is walking aside from that I am going to finish off the vlog because I'm going to start a new vlog right away because today we are gonna go furniture shopping and I felt like I would finish off the vlog telling you about a little change that's coming up in my life and that is that I am moving and I think I've mentioned this in a previous vlog and kind of hinted at the fact that I was like looking for apartments now apartment shopping in Toronto is obviously quite hard and I was looking for multiple things. Unfortunately, the architecture in the city has become very narrow. Um, apartments here have glass walls, which means you can see into rooms. There's just a lot of different things going on. And I didn't necessarily love that. So I have pretty much decided to stay within my building, but move into a two bedroom. I knew that I loved my building. I loved the management in my building. I love the area. Um, there's just so many pros in my building and the only con was that I needed more space. And so I thought, you know what? Instead of moving to another place where I'm not gonna like where it is, I'm not gonna like the building, um, I, I won't like all these amazing things that my building has, but it'll have extra space. I just ended up deciding that the best move for me would be to get a two bedroom in the apartment that I already am in. 
So that's the big change that is going to be happening very soon. And um, with that, I want to really make this apartment just a reflection of who I am. And with this one, you know, it was a starting base. It was, it's obviously a very beautiful apartment, but I never felt like it was truly me. So I want to start sharing with you how I will be decorating my apartment, all the furniture shopping, and I hope you guys love interior design um, as much as I do. I think that's just going to be really fun part of my life that I'll be able to share with you. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to loads of vintage antique furniture shops. Something that I really want to be doing is obviously buying new is, is wonderful. I also want to buy as much as I can that is vintage and pre-loved. Um, not only is it good for the environment, but I feel like Vintage items have so much history to them. They have so much character and I just, I love that. And so yeah, I will, in the next vlog, I will start it. I promise I will start it right away, but I will share some images of kind of the style that I want. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea of things that I'm looking for. And also, if any of you in Toronto have any great antique furniture store recommendations, leave them in the comments for me and I will um, be sure to go. I'm gonna finish off the vlog here. I thought I would give you that little life update and that way in the next vlog, we can start this little new journey of mine and I can kind of document everything. And I will be sure to give a full apartment tour of this apartment because I never felt like it was finished, so I never gave a tour. But um, before I move out, I will be sure to give a full tour of everything. That way you guys can see where I lived. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.